Hello everyone. Just switch the PC on. Fifteen. Code fifteen means memory training now. should be in BIOS but the telly only switch on automatically when we loading in Windows so let's switch the telly on right so let's talk about BIOS settings and RAM and uh, uh 7950x3d uh overclock and stuff like that so we'll show you my settings so i have um latest bios 0602 right uh that's my ram it's originally 6400, 32, 39, 39. It's two sticks with, uh, what's it saying, 49 gig. So I like have nearly 100 gig together. I think it was advertised as 48, but somehow it's show, showing 49 each stick. Uh, so two sticks, uh, first of all, why I have just two sticks? Because there was loads of information online that if you want to run four sticks, you will have to run it even less, in a less speed, like 5600 or something. Uh, at the moment, it's not running 6400 anyway, because uh, when I just, because uh, it's XMP, it's not Expo RAM for uh, AMD motherboards, uh, AMD platforms. Expo is uh, like uh, dedicated for uh, AMD platforms, but because I couldn't find any decent kits, I went for um, XMP anyway, but XMP is more for Intel platforms. But it will run anyway. Uh, so. Don't, buy, uh, don't be scared, guys, to buy XMP RAM for AMD platforms. It will run anyway. You only might have issues if it's over 6,000, as mine, that it's not, don't want to run on a, a XMP profile. It, uh, it's showing errors. It's not booting up. So we'll show you my settings. Uh, so I go Extreme Tweaker. I put the uh, profile two, right? And then I choose 6,000. I um, choose this one, uh, FCLK frequency. You can choose 2,000 on or 2,033. And then RAM timings. So I put manually these RAM timings. So my 6400 runs 32 and 39. As you can see, because I'm running just 6000, I'm running 30 and 38. Right? You can copy these settings. And then everything below this one. Let's start from the beginning if you want to copy these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, 
so below this one everything is in auto because i couldn't see any difference uh, for changing them anyway all right so and it runs perfectly on 6000 megahertz so if anyone knows um how to make it even faster please uh, make a comment below i tried to overclock it but uh, obviously uh, the worst timings to 7000 and i tried to change these uh and i was unsuccessful i couldn't get it run maybe because i have uh, two so large uh, sticks if you would have two 16 gig sticks it might be better but i have another platform i have seven, just normal 7950x not the uh, x3d and i have 6400 xmp ram and it runs normally but that's on um 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 how it's called um Azrock Steel Legend motherboard, right? Uh, this one is on. This one is on uh, AMD, on well, sorry, on ASUS. It's on. Um, Crossfire XC seventy Hero, right? All this CPU in here, uh, not CPU, computer in here, sorry, uh, is 5.5 grand in pounds, British pounds, so it's very expensive, right? It's like top of the top. Well, why the cost is so expensive? Because, uh, uh, first of all, AIO is 300, funds alone is 250. Uh, the RAM is nearly 400, uh, video card is 2100, and then uh, there's 4 terabyte Gen 5 drive, what, what was nearly 700, so it's all adds up, uh, big money. Um, so, I'm a bit disappointing, disappointed about the RAM, so I'm trying to share this information with you guys, um, that if you buy AMD system, and if you have big issues with the RAM you, and XMP is not working, try to do this, what I just did. Try to put it 6,000 manually. The bridge clock 2,000 or 2,033 and manual timings. Then, below in here, I put uh, put as well 1.4 voltage for the RAM. Um, by default, I think I had 135. I, I put 1.4 just for extra to make sure the stability is there. I did all tests and it's stable. Uh, now let's talk about um, X3D CPU overclock. Uh, so uh, let's go advanced mode. And then there's a few things. First is AMD CBS. And then this one no AMD MUC I think it was MUC no MBO no let's go SMU yes so you go advanced options AMD CBS so if when you go AMD CBS then go SMU common option and when you take on that on the top you have it's called CPPC dynamic preferred cores 
and you can choose frequency cache or driver so if you send the frequency then the uh, uh, the best boosting cores always will be preferred but if you want the best uh, of the gaming results if you uh, game then please put it in cache because what it is with these uh, X3D CPUs that uh, the cache cores, like um, 7950 X3D, half of the cores is cache and half of the cores is just uh, normal. And these normal cores is boosting higher than cache cores. Uh, but in games, even if it's boost lower, it's still using this huge cache and it performs better so if you select this it's make sure that priority causes with the cache and you will have better better results in games so that's one one thing what i would like to tell you another thing uh, is um, overclocking your cpu obviously you need a uh, decent cooler you need to make sure it's uh, running quite cool. Um, right, so so what we need now, we need AMD overclocking. Press that, then press accept. Then. Oh, precision, precision boost overdrive. This one, right? Take it once. Auto, auto. Enable this one and select positive. Right? Uh, you can put this one. It depends uh, of your system. If if it's really high system like mine and very good cool uh, put 150 if, if, if you have quite bad cooling system put just 100 or 50 um, then um, then you have to go to curve optimizer and select per core on the top and every core run negative and you can copy paste my timings that most likely will work uh, if it's not working try to put ev every on 20 negative if it's still not working put 15 but if you have decent cooler most likely it will work like this so my timings is 30 20 15 20 35 30 40 25 20 30 20 20 30 25 35 35 and all negative right and uh, what it's do it's using less power for each core because it's negative and boosting higher so that's that's the overclock for 7950x ready um if you know guys uh how to the best settings uh to to try to overclock my ram because i would like to try like 7000 uh, megahertz even if it's worst timings i would like to try and see the difference but somehow i i, I tried it and i and it's not booting up so i uh, didn't have uh, too much time to mess around i might try it again um uh, especially if the new uh, bias version will came out I, I might try to play with the ram again 
But because I don't have so much time to mess with this, I have 6,000 and all this stable and it's fine for now. Um, okay guys, so follow the next videos. I will put out some videos regarding this CPU in this state with this overclock and uh, 4090 some uh, games of uh, how it runs um, follow and subscribe thanks for watching bye